What's up gamers, General Moo Moo here and today we've got an exciting little announcement. So, oh, I didn't check which bag had what in it. So, let me. This is it. So, Target had this great discount. Yes, a discount where all the Captain Marvel figures were all 10 bucks. Uh, so I went through and I bought Captain Marvel and I was like, yes. And then I bought a uh, Genus Veil and I was like, yes. Uh, so that was exciting. I had two in the same set. Didn't really think of any of it. Then I went to another Target and they had Grey Gargoyle and uh, Von Rogue. Yon Rogue. And those were also in the same set. So I got those and I was like, holy freaking cow. Now I have four in a set. I'm so close to creating uh, the Kree Century uh, Build-A-Figure. I have to do this. So I went on Amazon and I got Nick Fury and then I also got Talos. So now I have the full set and I don't have it all with me today. Um, I only have uh, about four, but we're only opening one today. We're gonna open, I should have been taking this tape off. Uh, today we're gonna open Captain Marvel because it won the poll. And uh, I was gonna poll every single one. Uh, to figure out the order, but you know, it, it, it doesn't really matter. I'm gonna end on Nick Fury, uh, and I'm going to start on uh, Captain Marvel, the main one. So, this is gonna be a seven part series. Uh, first part, Captain Marvel, then we're gonna go through, open all the other figures. Even though there's, uh, there's technically seven in the set, there's only six to do the build a figure. Uh, so, and I only bought six, I didn't buy the because the showpiece in this one that doesn't have the Build-A-Figure is uh, Captain Marvel. So why would I buy Captain Marvel twice? Am I right? Um, oh, just ripped that. Um, okay. So now I have the whole set. Uh, it's, on, it's on its way on Amazon. So I don't technically have the whole set right now. But I will by the time this video goes public. Oh man, I'm just ripping this box, dude. I've never actually messed up a box this bad. Yeah, if I ever want to resell this, I will not be able to because I kind of screwed up this box. Okay, one piece of tape left. Man, I'm excited. Uh, should I just cut here? Nah, I still got more to talk about. Anyway, so... Uh, I'll open them all up and I'll assemble the build-a build figures every time till we get to the end. And uh, then I'll do a seventh episode of the series where I just open up and build a figure. You know, I take it all apart and I build a build a figure. Okay, here we go, here we go. First one. Second one. Okay, come on. Oh my gosh, I really suck at this, right? I should have brought a key or something. Okay, we got it, we got it, we got it. Finally, we got it. And I took the plastic out of the box. That's how garbage I was at opening this today. Okay, so let's start looking at the figures. The piece we got is a uh, Cree things arm Cree Century's arm uh, I'm a little disappointed in this build a figure piece it doesn't really oh it it opposes never mind we got the arm hooray hooray we got the arm now let's look at the figure she's got a jacket on she's got a cat now in the, uh, the package the cat's on her hand I don't think the cat is on her hand like when you pose her uh, oh yeah it's just little strings it's not even rubber bands attached to it like they just come off oh this one's a rubber band the other one was just a string a little clear string so here's Captain Marvel oh my gosh they put the detail on that look at that 
Come on, focus. Focus. I'll get it in the in the photos. Uh so yeah. They put the detail uh put the detail on her. It's got the the same leather jacket thing as the uh she did in the movie. Okay. Now let's pose this. Let's pose her with the cat. Let's pose her with all the other things. Let's let's get to it, you know? Start posing. <laughs> Okay, so uh, that's Captain Marvel. Overall, I'm much more satisfied than I thought I was going to be with this figure. Uh, the cat, it's goofy. I think they could have done without it. It does add a little something extra, which is cool. But uh, yeah, it's it's crazy, crazy stabilized. She's, she's very well, uh, I don't know what the word is weighted out uh her ankles get good sideways rotation they don't go forward and backwards but for some reason it's not necessary like it was with uh captain britain which uh i think i gave him like a five or a six out of ten i should have given him much lower uh maybe it's just because i've been i've been doing a lot of videos with really high quality figures but i don't think it is i think it's just because um just because he was he really is a low quality <laughs> figure even though I, I like the idea of him uh, I really think he's just he's not that great and he also had a lot of chest weight so I don't know why I'm talking about that I'm supposed to be talking about this so there's the only criticism I really have is that there's not a whole lot you can do with this battle pose wise like there's there's not too much that can be done her hands don't really oppose uh her hands move a lot but like there's no like changing fist you know so she's kind of just like a, a normal normal person with a cat and that's cool that's fine uh especially because of the quality that went into this figure it's it's very it sets a high standard um, and if you want battle, you should get the, the other Captain Marvel, the, I, I don't know what it's exactly called. It, on the box, it's just called Captain Marvel. I, I'm sure there's a more specific name. Anyway, personally, I'm really impressed with this. I would give it a, uh, a 9 out of 10. The only drawback being, it's kind of, this is kind of pointless. I, and, uh. And of course, uh, the fact that there's no, the, like the diversity of poses you can do, there's not, there's not that many. Like you can, she can be holding her hands. You know, I, I was really impressed that she could hold War Machine though. I, well, I was more impressed with my skills than the figure, but, um, yeah, I think a nine out of 10 is fair. I think that's the highest rating I've actually given any figures. And I don't know why. I think it was because really my expectations were low going into it. Anyway, uh, let's jump into a different topic. Uh, so 
she has a jacket on. Do you know who else has a jacket on? Spider-Man Homecoming, and there's, uh, I think, a new Wolverine figure. No, 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 Cyclops figure who comes out on a jacket. I think it would be really cool to have all the jacket figures set up. I don't have Spider-Man Homecoming, though, even though I would really like to have had him. I started collecting late to get him, and now he's mm, a little more expensive than I, I would like. Plus, he comes in a two-pack, so that always adds to the price. <clears throat> anyway, next up, we're going to be opening uh, Yon Rogue. Why? Well, because she has the chest figure, and uh, there's nothing I can really do with this arm figure and the head or the leg or the other arm. So uh, I really got to open up the chest figure next so I can attach this to it. And uh, yeah, that wraps up this first episode of the, the seven-part series. Uh, I hope you enjoyed yourself. I certainly did. And uh, I'll see you all in either tomorrow or a few days opening up uh, Yon Rogue. Have a good day.